Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Content Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can communicate this NOC card with the uh, Modicon M221. So let's go to the presentation. So on this particular video related to the NOS, what I'm going to do is to use these Ethernet ports in order to communicate to one specific device. And the idea will be to replace what we have is the NOC card. So instead of using the NOC card, we use the NOS in order to read and write information easily to those devices. Now, the NOS is like a switch, okay? It's a switch that is connected to the pack plane on the Ethernet rack that we have on the EMPA80. Now, in this particular case, in my configuration, I already disabled the service part. So this rotary switch is linked to this Ethernet service that we have. And this one on the right part, this rotary switch is linked to the one on the, le on the left. So, as you can see over here, we have three Ethernet ports. This one's gonna be for the service, and this one are for the switch that we are able to communicate with the device. That in my case, I'm going to use as a DI port. So I'm going to connect just one, okay, and I'm going to make any ring at all. Just connect to one device, it's going to be the Modicon M221. Okay, this is the further information. So, how we can translate all this into the software? So, I have a Modicon M221 with some register to read and write information with. Okay, so you can see over here, this is the address I'm going to read, and this one for writing. Now, on the M580 Control Expert, it opens, there we go. So I have the CPU and I have the NOS car. On the NOS car, there is nothing to configure, it's as a switch. But on the M580, we just need to configure the addresses, okay, for the device, for the CPU. And the important thing here is to check on the DTM browser where I'm going to add the equipment. So there are two official videos on YouTube of, of Schneider Electric, how to add the NOS card, how to make the configuration, and how to make the diagnostics. So check that information that basically will generate this EDS, generic EDS input only with all this information, with this configuration, and then you will have on the device DDT, the structure for the NOS uh, with all the complete information if you check on the manual what it's about okay but I'm not going to this kind of detail right now so how we can communicate with that device basically for the NOS car so I'm going to here okay this is a configuration for the m 5 uh devices that you're going to connect. So as soon as you add something here, it's going to be in the distributed bus. So I'm going to use the model device. Yes. I'm going to use my M221. In your case, it could be any other device. So, okay. Here you can see that I have my M221. If I double click, I don't have anything at all to configure, which is fine. The configuration for the IP address came here. So if you are in the M480, probably doesn't make sense why you're using in the M580 if I'm using the NOS card. Don't, don't go into that. So it's here in the distributed part, distributed bus. Okay, here the M221. You have 221 because it's the IP address that you're going to use for the one connect to one and connected with. Here in properties, you can also change the name for the structure that's going to be generated. Okay. And here on the request is where do you need to define the information to where to read the data. So add here, I'm going to use the read. So I'm going to read from the position MW50 and I'm going to read three words on the device. You can also put the write, but I'm going to generate a different connection. So apply here. You can see now on the data editor, I have my M221. I have this information allowed us to 
now uh, the status of the connection and here you can see that I have eight bits okay uh, this is going to be related to my no it's an array of bytes okay sorry so this in order to see it much better we just need to go to the configuration that I have for the FR80 here in the items request here you can see the information so if you group this as a word you can give it a name and the view 50 define and view 51 word and here and view 52 and the view 52 word okay now if you apply this this will change on the data editor inputs and we have the information here which is fine good brilliant now if we go back and want to write information request settings add here it's going to be zero whoops there we go i'm going to start for the 60. i'm going to write two elements apply okay and it create this request so i need to put them together define and 60 and nw 61 if you're using all the type of variable then you can probably use if you're using for example reals you just need to read two words and then make the conversion inside the software remember that we just read words then we just need to translate that into the right variable type so now that we have this we should be able to connect to the m480 and then directly to the m221 so how is my connection right now I have my USB cable connected to the to the uh, USB port, and then I have the M221 connected to this one. So if we compile. Yes. Okay, it's different. Now I'm going to download this, transfer. Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, good. Now go into the data editor, going to add an animation table. So I have this, it's just the link. So if I remove the connection that I have to the Modi Connect to one from the uh, NOS car, should be able to see that change it. There we go, zero. Now I'm going to put it back again. Should be able to see in one. There we go. So here is divided inputs and outputs. Here I'm reading the information from the M221. So if I 111, 222, 223 is changing. So there is a communication going on, which is good. Now, if I want to change this value, so for these two, need to change this so modification so uh, 147 and 258 oops 258 if we go back here 147 258 and if I modify this it's modified by the value coming from the m 80 okay so this is how you can see the connection okay now, if you're trying to use, for example, the Ethernet port of the M480, these two, okay, these two, this shouldn't work, okay? So, go back here, going to remove this, just to show you. It's in zero. Now, I'm going to put it back on the M480. You can see there is no link at all. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the port now. Three, for example, have the connection over there, and 
it doesn't have the communication at all which is fine okay we just need to use the nos those two ports that we have over there in order to have this scanning now if you go to the service that will be another story okay now it's up and then this, this one is up and we can read the information but I would probably not advise to use the service for these for this and use the um, and use the NOS information the NOS port that you have in order to make this happen okay okay I'm going to put it back on the Ethernet port on the NOS car and I'm going to back again 555 and there we go okay so this is how you can connect the nos okay as so i having this distribute or this io scanner in a way this table that i have already show you here okay so you can define the list of variables that you want to read and write from the other side from the server and how you can identify and make the changes on the variables over here to have them on this uh, variables editor with device DDT. Okay, so you can get access to the complete information of the device. And there are also two videos of in the Schneider Electric portal that it show you the complete information about this part. Okay, this is on the manual, which is each byte, and also how to make the configuration of adding this NOS EDS uh, generic device or advanced device. And then you make the configuration of this input only and all this thing, but that is already explained in another video. So the NOS is an alternative in case you don't want to use an NOC car, but you want this kind of feature instead of using the read and write part and use this in a type and in a table in order to read and write information directly into the slaves. So this is it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.